Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install WordPress 4.8.2 on Windows operating system. So it could be Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 as well. To install a WordPress core on your system you need a server. So you need Apache, PHP my admin or MySQL server and you also need PHP. So to get it you simply go to Apache French.org that's first option. The second option is for both uh, Windows and Mac MAM MAM info dot info so this works on Microsoft Windows and Mac OS as well. You can see it here. It's a freely available if you want to upgrade that's totally optional so you can have a look it offers the same thing okay so XM is for all the platforms Windows Linux and Mac OS X you can download it and run it like install it it's very simple and I already have downloaded and installed you can see my Apache and MySQL both are running it also running the PHP in Apache. So if you go to localhost, you'll see PHP is working. So this is PHP info.php. Now my server is also running under PHP my admin. So to get to server, my SQL server, you go to localhost slash PHP my admin. Make sure you got the setup ready and let's go ahead and download and install the WordPress now. So to get WordPress 4.8.2 you simply visit wordpress.org which is here and then you click download WordPress. You will see it says 4.8.2 if you're by any chance looking for older releases you simply go to uh, release archive page by clicking in here and then you can look for whatever release release that you need so 4.6 4 4.5 and 4 whatever so now let's go ahead and download 4.8.2 so this is going to be a zip folder download it I'm going to save it so I'm using Firefox if you're using other browser most probably Chrome or Microsoft Edge or Explorer, you will get a um, file here. You just have to open it on Google Chrome and run it. Here on Explorer on Edge, you simply click run. So my file has been downloaded. Let me go ahead and open it. So you can see it's here in the downloads folder and then you have to unzip it. So basically extract all, right click on here and say extract all and then say extract so what I have done I already have extracted it so I'm not going to do this I'm going to cancel it you can see it here so once it's extracted we quickly can go ahead and install it so I'm going to close these pages here and to install it basically you have to put this folder or all the files within this folder in HDDocs. So you go to File Explorer, then you go to uh, this PC and then C Drive and then go to XM and then you go to HDDocs and here you have to create a folder. So basically whatever name you want to give it to this folder you can give. So let's say WP4 a2 and just open it now you just copy everything from here or cut it or simply you can copy or cut it or simply select all and drag it here so these were 19 items including everything now if it's there now we will go ahead and launch the browser let's go ahead and open Firefox again 
go to localhost slash then wp482 whatever the name you are given to that particular folder and press enter this is going to take a while and then you will get installation page now you will also need a database a username for the database and host as well here you have to select your preferred language so I've selected English I'm going to click continue so click continue and on this page it says database name this is what you need database name username for the database database password a database host table prefix in case if you have multiple installation WordPress installation or databases on the same system so to create database username and database and password everything we need to go to phpMyAdmin so simply type localhost slash phpMyAdmin and then you click on databases to create a new database or you click here new here you have to give it a name so let's go ahead and say new db okay that's going to be the name of the database and then you click create so this new db has been created but there's no table so we do not need to create any table basically when you install wordpress wordpress automatically creates all the table required for the wordpress now we also need a username so if you want to create a username simply go to privileges otherwise what it does when you create uh, the phpMyAdmin or MySQL server create it creates a username that's root with all the privileges with no password okay in case if you want to create a new user you simply click add new user sorry account user account and give it a name a host name is going to be local so local a password and then give all the privileges check all the box and then here say go click go so this will create a new user with your password whatever you have chosen with all the privileges all right so let's go back here again to privileges where is it in new db go to privileges and you will see this is the user that i'm going to use in this installation so root hostname is localhost with all the privileges and the password that is it's empty there's no password also you can edit the privileges to for any user by clicking this link here on the right so we have all the things that we need for this installation let's go ahead and click let's go now here just type the database name so new db the username is going to be root there is no password localhost is localhost change the table prefix in case if we have multiple wordpress installation so let's say new db that's going to be the prefix okay and then you submit it so click submit and then you run the installation now this shouldn't take long time all you have to do now type the site name so site name is going to be new wordpress release okay username is going to be admin but my suggestion is if you're installing it on a server please pick a very different username like do not keep it very um, general like admin it's very easy to have okay then a password um, and your email address in case if you're installing on a hosting server then discourage search engine for indexing your site 
you definitely want while you are developing your theme and uploading the content once everything is ready only then you uncheck this box then you click install wordpress but this is not required on localhost it's only for the actual websites that you're going to install on the hosting servers so this shouldn't take long time what is doing doing in, in the background is basically creating all the tables so if you click on new db you will see it's creating all the tables so if you go to any of these new db posts okay so it's done now click login and say admin and type in the password and click login so this is going to be your dashboard area and here you can customize your theme and this is how it looks like so this is basically with the 2017 theme okay but just in few months you will have 2018 theme theme so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe for my channel have a good day bye for now